Hi, I'm public speaking coach Milo Shapiro, and welcome to Business Advantage, the program where we focus on businesses that have the opportunity to give you the advantage. Many of us feel like we have a book inside of us that could be, maybe needs to be expressed and created. The problem is the task of going from having that thought to holding that book can be daunting. My guest today is someone who helps people through that, whether they just need help putting the book together or they want to go all the way to having her put the words on the page for them as a ghostwriter. Well, what's involved in each of these processes? We'll find out today. So, Laura Fox of Guru's Ghost, thanks for being with us on Business Advantage. I'm glad to be here, Milo. All right, let's jump right in. As someone who's written three books himself, I know it was hard, but I also can't imagine just handing the task off to someone else and having them do it. Is that what happens when people work with you? Oh, no, not at all. Okay. Well, I love ghostwriting with an author. Sometimes we don't even take it that far. See, the other hat I wear is a book coach. That's where I take people who do like to write and can likely do a good job at it. And I help them be their best through the process. So let's focus on that first then. How would you help someone as a book coach as compared to a ghost writer? Well, a lot of people just don't know how to get started. Yeah, I bet. A lot of times they've already given up by the time they contact me. They call me saying, I guess I'm going to need a ghostwriter if this book is ever going to happen. Uh-huh. But then as we talk, I find out that they do have good writing skills. They can do it. That's not the problem. It's just that they don't know how to write a whole book. book yeah. And that's a skill set I can show them instead of taking it over. So what I do is I help them create a book plan that makes it all doable. A book plan. So you're, you're creating an outline for them? Well, a book plan is much more than an outline. Okay. You you see, we break the project down into actionable steps that are going to get the book done. So they'll have a quality product in the end. Mm -hmm. And along the way, I'm checking in with them, giving them support, encouragement, making sure they're really working the plan. So they're going to make that goal. That makes sense. So to, to set them up for success, that probably gets them through any of that writer's block we hear people talk about. Exactly. Yeah. See, when a plan is made that clear, it just becomes an exercise of filling in the blanks one after another. And I'm there if questions come up, but usually the plan guides them pretty well between our appointments. All right. But what if in the end, what you both come to realize is they aren't meant to be a writer? Well, then I get to change my hats. <laughs> and say, let's talk about me putting the words on the page so we can get this project done. And it will still be your voice and your message. Okay. So in ghostwriting, how much involvement does the per- the person, who- what do you call the person who hires you? The author. They're the author. Oh, they are the author, I guess. I should- okay. <laughs> See that coming. So how, how much involvement does the author have in the process? Well, I'm, I'm actually glad we hit this little stumble. See, sometimes I have to remind my clients themselves that no matter how involved I am, I'm I'm really just the channel to help them get their message across. Uh They are the author. And that's why their involvement is so essential. Yeah, I, I get that better now. The vision of themselves as the author. Yeah. And to answer your question, yeah, they are very involved. We're going through their materials together in depth so that I can hear them talk about it and I can translate from what sounds good as they're speaking into what's going to work in a book. So you see, it really isn't about sending me off to write their book. We're collaborating and it really is their book. Their book. Uh, Mm -hmm. You you mentioned their materials a a moment ago. So you're actually watching them do speaking. Sometimes you're hearing them do the speaking. Why do you feel the need to do the interview if you're actually hearing the speeches? Well, um, what you'd put into a book isn't really the same as what you'd say out loud, right? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Book writing has a different feeling. It's got those deeper insights. And I get more of those deep insights when I interview people. Okay. You know, when you're reading a book, part of what you want is to feel close to the author. You get behind the scenes. You get to find out what makes them tick, (laughs) why they care about their material so much how they got the information they're sharing with you. And that comes out of the interviews I do. 
yeah, I, I guess you're you're getting their tone in the process of interviewing them too. Are are you checking in with them a lot while you're writing? Well, yeah, most of the time we'll check in after I finish the draft of each chapter. That way we can correct places that I might not have captured the message or tone just right. Make sure we're on the same page. Literally. Yeah, yeah <laughs> literally the same page. Yeah. And make sure we're set up for what we're doing in the next chapter. What made you decide this was something that you wanted to do? I mean, I love books. It shows. <laughs> yeah. And whenever I hear a, a good speaker, I'll go looking for their book. Sometimes I'm waiting for it. You know, the book that's going to take me deeper. But it doesn't always come. Um, so I was doing editing. I had a client who asked me to edit her book. But when she brought it to me, it wasn't really a book yet. It wasn't uh -huh. written. It was just a bunch of notes. Uh -huh. So I said, do you want me to write this? <laughs> and she said, yeah, that would be great. You know, yeah. she didn't have time. <laughs> and it was so exciting for me to be invited to help her build something really good out of something that really did have a lot of potential. I mean, she had great ideas. Mm -hmm. And I found out that it just really suited my skills to put it all together for her. And did you tell me once that reminded you of these other authors whose books you were waiting for? Not authors, other speakers. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, some of them are authors now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I, you know, I had all these teachers that I wanted books from and I started reaching out to them. And the one I most wanted a book from happened to be under a deadline with a publisher. So when I contacted her, she said, yes, please, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> How perfect. And that was that was one of the most rewarding projects I've done. How neat. Uh, do, you, do you get to the point where the book is written? It's in that you know, Microsoft Word or whatever, and then you just hand it off to them? Or do you take them past that point? Sometimes, yeah. I can take you all the way through publishing. and You can get that first copy in your hand. Oh, great. Uh, I know sometimes I've seen on the covers of the books, it'll say like, with Jane Smith. So is do you do that with your clients where it's clear that you helped someone? I, I have done that one time. Um, in that case, it I had degrees in the area that the author was writing about. So my name did lend credibility to the book. Oh, okay. But it's that's an exception. Uh -huh. I mean, for the most part, I want the person I'm working with to be seen as the author they really are. My part is just helping them find the right words for putting their expertise on the page. Is there a specific kind of author you like to work with? Mm -hmm. Yep. My favorite people to work with are visionaries. Um, they've got a unique philosophy, way of seeing things. And they have powerful experiences that led them to it. I love that the outcome is a book that helps you see the world in a different way. Yeah, I, I like that. Uh, if someone is listening to this thinking, ah, this is what I need now. This is what I need to get this book done. Whether it's they need the book coaching or they need someone who's literally going to ghostwrite it for them. What's the best way for them to reach out to you? You can learn about my work um, and reach out to me through my website. It's gurusghost.com. Mm -hmm. And there's even a quiz where you can better envision the book that you're going to write. And, and I've been on your site. It adds a lot more than we can cover in this interview. Laura, thank you for being with us. Thank you. If you'd like to be a guest on Business Advantage or see other episodes, visit businessadvantage.com. And if you'd like to improve your public speaking skills, join uh, visit the homepage for miloshapiro.com. So next time I am Milo Shapiro, wishing you good health, good times, and especially good business. See you next time.